Hello, it's Lindy Roya, founder of Pat Meadows Pilates and Physical Therapy and creator of the Body Truth Program. This is our indoor golf series and this in this video we're going to be looking at the shoulder girdle. The shoulder girdle is a really important piece of the golf swing as we know. It's kind of the ultimate connection into the hands. But do you know where your shoulder girdle is and what your shoulder girdle is? So before we go any further, I'd like you to just put your fingertips where you think it is that your arm attaches into your shoulder joint. So if you kind of imagine you've got a golf club in your hands, you're gonna follow that up to its next logical place. Where does the upper arm bone attach into you so where's the joint where your humerus, the upper arm bone, attaches into you? And then how does that attach ultimately into the ribs and the sternum and the spine, those areas that we've been looking at in the last few videos? Any ideas about where that happens? Well, the ultimate answer is that the shoulder joint itself is right here, the arm bone itself, which we're gonna look at um, in the next video, how the arms you know, attach into the club and how they, they attach into you. But the joint itself is this bone called the scapula. So the scapula is the equivalent to the pelvis for the leg. So as the pelvis is for the femur bone, the leg, the scapula is for the arm bone. And the scapula, we're gonna turn this around, I'm gonna show you the sort of very mobile scapula over here on the right side of Seymour. The scapula is a bone that floats in muscle. It floats in connective tissue. It isn't joined into the spine directly. So the way that your arm bone actually connects directly into your torso is through this little bone here called the collarbone. So on our rescue Seymour that we have, not complete Seymour, um, the collarbone is actually disconnected on purpose so that you can see the importance of this connection of the collarbone into the sternum. This is actually how the arm ultimately gets connected into your torso. So what I'd like you to do is you're gonna place your right hand on your left collarbone and you're just gonna trace all the way along the collarbone. You'll notice it's, it takes a little bit of a turn, right? It's not a straight bone. When you get to the end of your collarbone, see if you can find this sort of ledge or shelf across the outside this is part of the scapula. So that's actually right above the humerus, right above where your arm bone comes in. Now if you follow that around the back, you'll find what's called the spine of the scapula. So that little bone across the back is part of the bone that really supports your arm. The scapula, if you just roll it forward and roll it back, You'll notice the scapula has quite a bit of movement. In a golf swing, the shoulder blades need to swing around the rib cage to create backswing and follow through. So what I'd like you to do this week is with your fingertips just resting on that end point of each shoulder blade, you're just gonna do a little bit of motion visualizing the shoulder blades moving around the ribs and the collarbones moving around the ribs. A nice image for this is if you've ever worn a sweater or a cape or a cardigan or something like that that's a little bit big and it kind of swings, right? It gets a little bit off center. Imagine that your shoulder blades and collarbones are like a piece of fabric or a cape that's swinging around your ribs. So with your fingertips just on the edge of your shoulder blades, right on these outside tips of your shoulder blades, you're just gonna swing the right shoulder blade forward and the left shoulder blade back. Then you're gonna swing the left shoulder blade forward and the right shoulder blade back and really maximize that movement of the shoulder blades as they swing around the ribs. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.